In this video we're going to look at a slightly more tricky example. It's a curve that is still in completed square form, so um, you just need to think of it this time because the only thing that's really complicated the matter is that 3, okay, and what difference that's going to make. Well, this time we're not looking at a translation from y equals x squared to this. You're actually looking at y equals 3x squared to this. Okay, so what's happened is the x has been replaced with x minus 1, and the y has been replaced with y minus 5. So, in actual fact, we're just still dealing with the translation, okay, it's just the original curve is slightly different. Now, um, what this means is the vertex is at 1, okay, uh, minus, oh sorry, not minus 5, 5. Okay, because so the number inside the bracket changes sign, but the number outside remains the same. So, in sketching this, it has a vertex at 1, 5, which is, let's say, there. Okay, and we just need to determine where does it cross the y-axis. Okay, so that comes from multiplying out the brackets. Which is a little bit more tricky this time. So y is equal to, well, I'm going to leave the 3 there for the moment, we've got x squared minus 2x plus 1, when we multiply out x minus 1 or squared. So I'm going to have 3x squared minus 6x, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8. So it crosses the y-axis at 8. So it is a curve that looks something like this. And I've drawn it a little bit steeper, okay, um, more squashed to make out that actually it is um, uh, stretched inwards more so than y plus x squared, okay. The 3x squared stretches it inwards, okay. So this is the curve when it's uh, the equation of the curve when it's all multiplied out. And from the completed square form, we get the vertex, and from this format, we get the number that it goes from the y axis.